Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's time for me to open up my BoxyCharm boxes. This month I have a Boxy Premium. I finally got off the wait list and I don't know, I have mixed emotions and feelings about what <laughs> could possibly be in that box. And I have my Boxy Lux, which you guys know I have been a Boxy Lux um, member for a whole year now. Oh my goodness, I got my first Boxy Lux last December. So very cool. I guess maybe I should do like a whole recap and see how I really feel about it because I'm actually thinking about pumping the brakes on BoxyCharm and Ipsy for a little while in the upcoming new year. I really want to try some new subscription boxes. So if you guys can leave me some suggestions down in the description box as far as some new boxes I can try. If there are any that are like specifically for women of color or ones that specifically have really bright, bold makeup, you know, like the kind I like, stuff like that. Or even ones that maybe have different lifestyle things. I don't really want FabFitFun. Every time I watch their videos or people unboxing those, it's like, I don't want that stuff. But I think it would be cool to get one that might have like t-shirts or mugs or earrings, stuff like that. But I, I typically don't like the stuff that's in the FabFitFun. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on so I can get through this box. So I'm going to start with the Boxy Premium, I think this one is, the smaller one, and see what's cracking. Okay, so yeah, inside of my box, it says Boxy Charm Premium, and it has the card on top. Y'all know I need my specs, so let's go ahead and get it cracking. Okay, Boxy Charm Whimsy. This is what the card looks like, and it has all of my products listed here on the back. So let's just jump right in and not dilly dally. Okay, so I'm going to pull this stuff out and then see if I can find the description right quick. Okay, first thing here, basic beauty. So nice little packaging here. It says wet glow, glowy AF. So I'm assuming this is a highlighter palette. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, it's cute. Really basic packaging, not anything fancy. It has a mirror in here, and this is what these highlighters look like. So let me see what it says about this from Basic AF. Basic Beauty Glowy AF Wet Glow Trio. <laughs> I said basic AF. Who wants to be basic AF? Not me, okay? It says Glow AF is a versatile multi-use highlight designed to be worn over makeup for a blinding, light-catching glow. Dab it with your finger or your favorite brush across your brow line, collarbone, eyes, cheeks, lips, blah, blah, blah. Jelly texture is perfect for precise application. It applies wet and dries down. Holding the pigment in place retails for $30. Oh, okay, so this is a jelly formula. Yeah, I'm not really in the mood <laughs> to swatch anything like that right now, but that is what it looks like. I mean, they look really pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna have to decide if this is something that I even want before I get to swatching, okay? Because I do have my end of the year giveaway coming up. I really need to get on that. I have just been farting around and I really need to get on it. So in an upcoming video pretty soon, it'll probably be a couple videos out because I do have some videos pre-filmed. Um, I'm gonna announce a giveaway. So if you want to be a part of that, Make sure you subscribe and click that like button and the bell so that you won't miss my giveaway. Okay, next I have here from Glow Recipe. This is a Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer for oily to combo skin. I think this is one of the products that I was actually wanting. <laughs> actually a little bit excited to get um, from the spoilers. And even before... I knew it was going to be in here. This is something that I actually had looked at, I think, in Sephora. Oh, yeah, because the bottle <laughs> packaging, boy, I tell you, packaging will get me every time. But this is what the bottle looks like. Isn't that so stinking pretty? It just makes you feel like you're about to put something nice on your face, okay? So anyways, 
Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer, 60 ml. It says 90% of the Silky Glow Moisturizer is spiked with vitamin and amino acid rich watermelon extract, plumping hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, and soothing botanicals like peony, jasmine extracts, cooling gel emulism absorbs emulism. <laughs> Emulsion. Cooling gel emulsion absorbs instantly to seal in hydration and prep the skin for the day ahead. Antioxidants guard against free radicals and repair damaged cells along the way. Used morning and night, it drenches the skin in luscious, long-lasting moisture. Retails for $39. So, okay, that claims to do a whole lot. And I'm hoping it does because I am really in the mood for some new um skincare to try so that's what it looks like mm. i don't know okay it has a very very faint smell honestly all i can smell right now is a lotion i already have on yeah i don't smell anything feels nice and that was just a little drop and it's like really spreading out a lot well, that feels nice. Okay. I like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy about this. Okay, let's see what I got next. This is from Kat Von D. It says cake pencil eyeliner. So that's what it looks like. <sighs> yeah, cake pencil liner. I've never heard of cake pencil liners. Kat Von D still out here doing stuff? <laughs> <laughs> she's still out here doing stuff okay so that's what it looks like cute little Kat Von D um okay nice I like it because it twists up oh and it's black so that's what it looks like it's a twist up eyeliner and it is black and I am not mad at this because I used to get so many black eyeliners <laughs> in my boxes and it was just like you know what I'm sick of black eyeliners, but I'm okay with this because I haven't gotten any in a while. Kat Von D Cake Pencil Liner retails for $19. Okay. And it's the color. What color is it? It's black. It don't matter what the name is. Okay. Next, I have here something from, I don't know if it's Laneige, 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 but I have here a eye sleeping mask for all skin. Okay. So let's check this out. This is really cute. Look at that. So it looks like there's the product and some type of tool maybe you can use to rub under your eye. Let's see what it says. Laneige Eye Sleeping Mask. A real eye opener. This first ever leave on eye mask deeply hydrates through the night while depuffing and soothing fatigued eyes with a cooling ceramic massage tool for a vitalized appearance. Eye moisture wrap technology helps to soothe and maintain deep hydration while you sleep. Retails for $34. Okay, so I mean, I'm gonna have to try it. I'm going to have to try it, see how it works. I don't typically get bags, but I do get serious dark circles. So I don't know if it'll help for that and if it'll help keep me, help keep me from getting more wrinkles then <laughs> you know i'm all for it so i'll try it okay next i have something here from skin fix it says eczema dermatitis face balm now this i really don't understand because i don't have eczema or dermatitis so why are they sending me stuff that's specifically for that i don't want this <laughs> you know i don't so Skin Fix Dermatitis Face Balm. This concentrated balm comes to the rescue to treat dermatitis, eczema, and dry patches on your gorgeous face, leaving irritated skin soothed, restored, and protected. Dermatitis Face Balm works quickly to safely and effectively calm reactions to makeup, lash extensions, fragrance, or skincare, and other flare-ups of facial dermatitis and eczema. Retails for $28. So, I mean, I guess this is good to have on hand just in case I did have some type of reaction or flare-up from a product that I use, but I never have. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not something that I would want in my monthly subscription box. A product that I could maybe possibly need 
Okay, lastly in my premium box, I have this Dose of Colors palette. And this is the Hidden Treasures palette. I'll be honest, this is something that I was not excited about when I saw the spoilers. Just because, I don't know, palettes that have kind of like funky layouts don't really appeal to me. And when I saw how this palette looks, you know, it has the mirror. When I saw how this palette looks, I knew I wasn't going to like it. I don't like this. <laughs> I, I don't like this. I have serious issues with things not being neat and straight and in order. So yeah, I mean, the colors are pretty enough. You know, they're not even really something that I would get excited over anyway if they were lined out neatly. But yeah, most likely this is going in my giveaway. So hopefully one of you lucky winners likes this palette and wants it because I'm going to give it away. I don't really care for it. So let me see what it says about this palette. Okay. Storybook Cosmetics. I got the wrong palette. On my paper, it says Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales Little Bear Rose Palette. What? I wasn't even supposed to get this palette? Ah, now I'm really disappointed. Well, the storybook palette retail for $55. I don't know what this retails for, but you guys see right there? See, the very first item is the storybook cosmetics fairy tales palette. So I just Okay, I'm not I'm not happy about that. I wasn't even supposed to get this palette. So I guess we'll see what's in my boxy lux, but I'm still gonna contact them because yeah hopefully i don't get another one of these palettes because they thought they already gave me the storybook palette i don't know let's move on y'all i mean overall it's a decent box you know i definitely do not want the dermatitis treatment um this highlighter palette is cute i don't know how i feel about you know the the fact that it's a jelly to a, a powder eyeliner pencil is easy this glow recipe basically makes it worth the whole box. And the Laneige Eye Sleeping Mask, this is pretty cool as well. So I have no really, real major complaints about this box, but I'm not happy that I didn't get the palette that I was supposed to get. Okay, so let's move on to our Boxy Lux. This big old box here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking a glance in here like, what is this stuff? Okay, same theme, whimsy. And it lists all of my stuff on the card here. So let's dive in. Okay, first product here, Daily Concepts Daily Hair Wrap Towel. Okay, that's different. I, I'm not mad at it. Let's see here. This hair towel wrap helps reduce frizz and maintain healthier hair by cutting the time of blow drying and heat exposure, which ultimately reduces the risk of split ends and excessive damage. Retails for $18. So I'm not mad at it. You know, you can't be mad at a hair towel. Everybody washes their hair and, you know, needs to dry it. So this is kind of cool. Very cool. I'm not mad at this. I don't know if I want this in my boxy looks, but I'm not mad at it. Okay, next, skincare, Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. Okay, I'm here for it. I love any type of creams, moisturizers, expensive stuff that I could put on my face. I'm here for it, okay? Oh, how cute. Look at this. This is cute. Very, very cute. This kind of reminds me of that new, like, Juno & Co. moisturizer container but theirs is that really pretty sleek blue one i saw it my girl lily got it she just put a video up and i'm trying to get that moisturizer okay anti-aging glacier water cream delivers mineral rich moisture while protecting skin from free radicals a fusion of ferments amino acid and plant extracts help calm the skin while boosting vitality and suppleness retails for 39 dollars okay so it has the little thing on here Ooh, i like that kind of stuff i don't know if you can see that can you see that yes i like that <laughs> i like it 
don't smell like anything. Is my nose dead today? Because I can't smell anything. It doesn't smell like anything, okay? I know my hand is already moisturized, so let me moisturize my wrist. Ooh, nice. I like these kind of moisturizers. I like cream moisturizers, but I like water gel type moisturizers as well. Yes, I like that. I don't like the fact that it doesn't smell like anything, though. I actually kind of like a little scent with my moisturizers, but it's all good, okay? It's all good. Okay, so next I have something here from In Beauty. It says, Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. Helps to set makeup, energize and revive the skin. Filters away dull, tired, and stressed out complexion. Oh, okay, very nice. So this is what that looks like. Very interesting. It looks kind of like some type of medical spray, but okay. In Beauty Power Up Dual Face Setting Face Mist. This energizing face mist is a pick-me-up you need to get through the day and night. Special bi-phase formula instantly activates and transforms as you shake it. Get ready to power up, formulate it with our even out complex, which helps even the look of redness, blotchiness, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, dullness. Naturally colored and scented with energizing aromatic aromatic <laughs> from plants. Okay, so it's scented from plants and colored from plants. Retails for $32. That was a mouthful. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to open it up because it's all sealed with the plastic wrap and all that. And I have about 50 setting sprays open right now. So, yeah, I'm not going to open it up and spray it. Okay, next I have here. Ooh, what is this? Confetti highlighter from Ciate. Okay, Ciate. Now, I just did a video swatching most of my highlighters. Not all of them, but most of them. And it's a lot. <laughs> so... Yeah, I probably won't swatch this just because since I am going on a low buy, I want to keep some stuff, you know, new and in the packaging. So, you know, in a couple of months when I'm ready to try something new and I can't go buy it because I'm on a low buy, then I could start using my stuff that I got that <laughs> I never opened. So, oh, that's pretty. So it's a nice little mirror in here and... That is what this highlighter looks like. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like it is going to blend into a beautiful shade. What shade is this? Confetti? Is that the name? Ciate Confetti Highlighter. Achieve a sun-kissed glow with Ciate London's Confetti Highlighter, featuring a mix of shades that have been carefully pressed together for a radiant highlight in one suite. Retails for $32. So... That's not bad, and it's really pretty. I don't have any highlighters from Ciate London, so I like trying out new products from, you know, well-known brands. So can't wait to be able to use that in my low-buy year. Okay, QMS Meta Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector Lip Serum. Oh, okay, so this is one of the ones I think that was like a choice item. Seems like I remember picking this instead of, I don't remember what it was, but I, it seems like I remember picking this. So it says, formulate it exclusively for the upper lip area. Okay. Lip line corrector targets fine lines and wrinkles. This high performance lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother youthful appearance. Retails for $200. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, okay. So it has like one of those twist up. You twist it and it pops up. Interesting. Okay. So that is what it looks like. I guess I shouldn't be wasting it since it costs $200, but I'm not going to put it on my lip because I got makeup on. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So that's what it's going to feel like on your upper lip. And you don't need a lot. That was one little pump and it's spreading out a great deal. It feels nice though. Yeah, I can't wait to use this. I'm going to use this with one of my new moisturizers tonight. So I can uh, <laughs> make sure I'm keeping my wrinkled lips in check. Okay. Not bad. That has a very, very faint scent. Very faint. I mean, 
I don't know. I guess these boxes are the products of, of scent-free stuff, which is good for people that don't like scents. But I can't smell anything today. Okay, next I have here from Too Faced Melted Matte Talic Lipstick. So that's what the packaging looked like. Let me see what color this is. Faking it. Looks like a nice pretty nude shade. Yeah, that's really cute. Is that... Is that metallic? It is metallic. Duh, KK. Okay, so let's see here. Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. Long-wearing, innovative, ultra-matte lipstick with the staying power of a stain and the intense color of a liquid lipstick. Retails for $21. I'm not going to swatch this because of the fact that it is metallic. I don't know how I feel about this shade being metallic. If it was a darker shade, then yeah, I know for a fact that I would keep it. But this shade in a metallic, I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm not going to swatch that because I'm probably going to give it away. Next I have here from Fresh. This is a soy face cleaner for all skin types. Rich in amino acid, gently cleanses the face and the eyes. I love getting face cleansers. This is what the box looks like. Okay, so yeah, this is what the tube looks like. This gel cleanser for all skin types has a cult following for the way it removes makeup, even mascara, without drying for soft, supple skin. Now that I really like. After you wash your face with a cleanser, if it leaves you feeling nice and soft, I like that. It's made with amino acid rich soy proteins, calming cucumber extract, and balancing rose water. Sensitive skin, it also soothes and tones. Retails for $48. Okay. Very nice. You know what? And I'm I'm in the I'm in the mood for a new face cleanser right now. So I think I'm gonna try this out and let y'all know how I feel about it. Okay. Next. <laughs> hmm. M green grass. So I have something here in a baggie to keep it nice and secure, just in case it was to open and spill. It says beach air dry oil spray what is this this fast absorbing multi-purpose dry oil spray is formulated with a blend of high quality oils that quickly penetrate delivering superior moisture leaving skin soft and luminous without feeling greasy layer with green grass hand and body for extra moisture oh, what, this is a body spray what is this directions spray and massage the oil directly onto your skin for hair spray the oil onto your palms and run through the tips of your hair for face spray the oil into your hands and apply it to your face where needed i am so confused so this is a face oil a body oil a hair oil multi-purpose oil i don't really use oils because I used to be like an oily girl. I mean, I get oily every now and then. Like, you know, I've had this makeup on for a little while now. So I can use a blotting. But yeah, for the most part, I steer clear of like body oils and face oils and stuff. Because I'm not really, you know, because I'm used to being getting oily. So, okay. So that's what it's looking like it it smells really good but yeah it's definitely an oil it's very lightweight but yeah it is an oil yeah i can feel it but it's nice though it went into my skin really quickly and easily okay i'm not mad at it yeah i don't know if i would put it on my face but i would definitely use this on my body Oh, it smells good too. Okay. Something new for me to try. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it at all. Okay. And it looks like I have one more thing in here. <laughs> I got my storybook palette. That must be why they gave me the other palette because they knew they were already sending me a storybook palette in my Lux. Oh, this is cute. This is what it looks like. Very cute. I like this color, the blue one. 
Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics. I've always wanted to try Storybook Cosmetics, but they look pricey for me. So yeah, it, it's like, it's hard for me to spend a lot of money on a brand that I'm not that familiar with. So yeah, I never went ahead and bought anything from them, but this is the Little Briar Rose. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so there's a mirror in here. And these are the colors in this palette. So she's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. So basically I'm doing like a mauve pinky look with blue. Blue look or just a mauve look <laughs> with this palette basically. But yeah, she's pretty. This color up here, this deep, deep, dark burgundy shade. Now that is pretty. This shade down here is really pretty as well. Looks kind of like a corally shade. Of course, the blue is gorgeous, but yeah, these two are my favorite shades right here. That and that for sure. Okay, so let's see what it says. This retails for $55. It's cruelty-free, long wear, buttery smooth shadow formula can be used wet or dry. Mix and match to concoct your favorite spell binding look. Okay, so very cool. I like the fact that it's cruelty-free. You can use them wet or dry, but this is definitely something cute that I would just kind of, you know, put on my shelf or, you know, just kind of sit somewhere so it looks really cute. So I'm happy I did get my Storybook Cosmetics <laughs> palette because I was about to go off, okay? I was like, shoot, if they give me two of those crazy looking dose of color palettes, I'd have been hot. So you know what? Overall, I think I am pretty happy. I'm, pr I'm pretty satisfied. At first, I was kind of like, eh, because that Dose of Colors palette, I'm not really feeling it in my premium box. I don't know. I probably have to at least get one more premium box just to know how I feel. But I'm really, really happy about the Watermelon Moisturizer as well as this moisturizer. Y'all might be like, girl, you got all kind of moisturizer. Honey, I can never have too many moisturizers because it's something I use every day, every day. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy about this body oil, face oil, hair oil thing because that is definitely something that I would not buy. And my skin is not oily. It just, it just looks nice and it smells good. So overall, I'm happy. Face wash, happy about that too. So overall, I'm happy with my box. Thanks for hanging out with me and checking out what I got in my Boxy Lux and in my Boxy Premium. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!